Hi guys, I have a reformer box workout for you today. Um, it's going to be a really challenging, really fun, quick pace workout. Uh, so we're gonna get started with your long boxes on. My foot bar is going to be down, and then I'm just gonna start with a blue spring on my reformer, which on my balance body will be a medium spring. Um, so feel free to start on a medium spring on your reformers, or a blue if you're on a balance body. We're gonna take our hands to the two front corners of the box, and then from here, we're just gonna press that box out nice and long away from us, letting our chest drop down in between our arms. Our heels are staying anchored, my hips are staying back. And then from here, I'm gonna exhale, tuck my pelvis round through my spine and bring the carriage all the way back in. Again, I'm going to inhale, press my carriage out, my chest drops down, my hips stay back, my heels stay anchored. And then on our exhale, we'll tuck round and come all the way back in. And we'll just do two more like that. Inhale to push out, chest drops down. Exhale, we'll tuck round, draw your abs in towards your spine as you come in. And then last one, inhale out. And then exhale, tuck round and come right back in. All right, now once we come back in, we're gonna take both hands to the right corner. We're gonna press out, lean into the left side of the body. So find as much length in the left side as we can. And then we'll round and come in. And we'll just do one more like that. Just a quick warm up of our spine before we get going. Press, round, and come in. And then we'll do the same thing on the left side. So both hands on the left, press out. Think find as much length in the right side of the body as you can. Round, come back in. And then last one, press, lengthen, round and come back in. Beautiful. All right, so let's go on to a red spring, a heavy spring. I'm gonna take my blue one off. So again, I'm just on one red, one heavy spring. We're gonna sit on our boxes and we're gonna face the straps. All right, when you guys sit on your box and you face straps, feet are gonna go into your headrest, so just make sure that the headrests are down. I'm gonna grab my long loops into my hands, which are gonna be a little more challenging. Short loops are gonna make this a little easier for my core. And then I'm gonna have plenty of space behind me for my spine to roll down. On an exhale, we're gonna tuck our pelvises and just start to roll our spines down into the box one vertebrae at a time. When the shoulders hit, our head can go back on an inhale. And then on our exhale, we'll nod the chin to the chest, scoop into our abdominals and peel our spines all the way back up. Inhale at the top. Again, exhale, tuck our pelvis. I'm sending my tailbone towards the wallet in front of me. I'm rolling down one bone at a time. And then my exhale, scooping into my abdominals, peeling all the way back up, taking that inhale. We'll do two more like that. Exhale, tuck, roll back one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, shoulders, head back. Exhale, nod the chin to the chest, ring, really scoop into your abdominals to peel all the way back up. Inhale to the top, and then last one. Exhale, roll down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale back, and then exhale, nod, scoop, and curl all the way back up. Now once we come up, we'll pause at the top. We're gonna add in some arms. Long loops, again, are gonna be lighter for your arms now. Short loops are gonna be heavier for your arms. I'm gonna stick with my long loops. We're gonna exhale, tuck, roll right back down into our box. When our shoulders hit, I want you to stay. So right around your bra line, knees are gonna go up into a tabletop position. I'm finding my neutral spine. And on an exhale, I'm gonna open my arms out to a T, and then inhale right back down to the hips. Exhale out to a T. Inhale to hips, I'm staying in my curl. My eyes are looking to my core. Open and close, we're getting right into our deltoids and traps. Two more. Exhale, inhale, return, last one. Open, close, and then relax the feet. The shoulders, the head go back, we're gonna take an inhale. And then on our exhale, we'll nod our chin towards our chest, scoop into our abdominals, peel all the way back up and we'll pause at the top. Now we're gonna add in some legs with these. So let's exhale, tuck our pelvises, roll ourselves right back down into the box. When we get to our bra line, hold. Knees are up into my tabletop position. Again, neutral spine. I'm gonna exhale, open my arms, reach my right leg out away from me to a challenging level. Inhale in, exhale, left leg extends as I open. Inhale back, exhale, open and extend. Inhale, return. We'll go for four more. Exhale out. Inhale back for three, two, 
and then last one. All right, now once we come back in, feet go down, shoulders, head go back, take an inhale, and then we'll exhale, nod, scoop into our abs, peel all the way back up, and then we'll pause at the top. Now we're gonna add in both legs going out and in this next time. So let's exhale, tuck our pelvises, roll back down into that box. When those shoulders hit hold, knees up into our tabletop position, we're gonna exhale, open the arms, reach both legs out to a challenging level, inhale right back in. I'm drawing my abs in to my back as my legs reach out. Exhale, inhale, two more. And then last one, open, close, relax the feet, shoulders, head go back on an inhale. And then we'll exhale, nod, curl all the way back up, one vertebrae at a time. All right, we're gonna move into some bicep curls. I'm gonna go a little heavier on my short loops for these. We're gonna just do the curls and then we'll add in legs. So let's tuck roll ourselves right back down into that box. Again, when my bra line hits, I'm gonna bring my knees up into my tabletop position. Palms are flipped up to the ceiling, bicep curls. Exhale, curl. Inhale, extend. Exhale to curl. Inhale, extend again, staying in that curl. Eyes looking right to your core. Knees just in tabletop. And again, I'm in my neutral spine. Let's do three more curls. Two and one. And then when I extend, I'll relax my feet, let my shoulders, let my head go back. I'll take an inhale back there. And then exhale, nod my chin towards my chest, scoop into the abs, and peel right back up. We have single leg extension, so let's tuck the pelvises, roll down, pick those knees up into our tabletop position. When we exhale, we curl, we're gonna reach that right leg out. Inhale back, curl, extend the left leg. Inhale, return, single legs. I wanna think I'm firing up my obliques. We're gonna do four more. Two, and then last one. Then once we come back, relax the feet, shoulders head back, inhale, exhale, nod, curl all the way back up, and then feel free, give your shoulders, neck a little bit of a roll. Last thing will be that double leg stretch. So let's tuck our pelvises, roll right back down. When my bra line hits, I'm gonna pick my knees right up into my tabletop position. Bicep curls, both legs. Exhale, curl, extend the legs. Inhale, return. Curl, extend both legs. Inhale, return. Exhale, curl. Inhale, extend. We're gonna go for three more. Think draw those low abs in and up. Two, and then last one. All right, relax the feet, shoulders, head go back. Take that last inhale here. Exhale, nod the chin to the chest, scoop into the abs. We'll come all the way back up. Okay, we're gonna hang our straps up. We'll step ourselves off to the sides of our boxes. Our boxes are gonna go off to the side for now. We're gonna do a quick footwork series. So I want you guys to put your foot bars up to the starting position. And then we're gonna do half bilateral work, half unilateral work. So I. I'm gonna go three heavy springs, so three red springs on my reformer. And then if you guys wanna add in from there, you can. I'm gonna go a little lighter today for myself, so I'm just gonna stay on these three reds. Again, if you wanna go yellow, blue, light, medium with your three heavies, you can. We'll lie down. Headrest can start up. If you guys do prefer your headrest up, otherwise you can keep them down. And then we're gonna start with our toes, balls of our feet onto the foot bar today. All 10 toes are on, we're right into our neutral spine. We're gonna inhale, push the carriage out with our toes, and then exhale, bend to come right back in. Inhale, push, exhale, pull, we'll push and pull. I wanna think neutral spine the entire time. And my heels are just lifted about halfway up, so not high heel, not a lower heel, just halfway. All right, now this next time I come in, I'm gonna pause in, my right foot stays on, my left knee is gonna go up into a tabletop position. We're gonna do six presses on the right, and on the sixth one, we'll hold. So we're gonna inhale, push out, exhale, pull in, inhale, push, exhale, pull. I wanna think evenly weighted through all five of those right toes. Two more. All right, now this last one will hold all the way out. We're gonna lower the right heel underneath the foot bar, lift it high. Lower the right heel, lift. Lower, 
lift. My pelvis is staying nice and still as I lower and lift. We have two and one. When we lift, we'll bend, come in. Left toes of our balls of our feet are on. Right knee tabletop, six pushes. Inhale out, exhale back. Push and pull, push and pull. We have three more. And then on this last one, we'll hold all the way out. We'll lower the left heel and lift. Again, my pelvis is staying nice and still as I lower and lift. So I don't feel it dropping and lifting as the heel lowers and lifts. We have two more. And then last one. When we lift, bend, come in. Arches of our feet are gonna go onto the foot bar. And then both arches stay on. We'll inhale, push out. Exhale, pull in. Push and pull, push and pull. Inhale and exhale, engaging the core to pull all the way back in. Two more, and then last one. All right, now once we come in, the right arch stays on, left knee tabletop, we're gonna do those six pushes again. So we'll inhale, push, exhale, pull, inhale, push, exhale, pull. I really wanna think for my unilateral work, again, pelvis is just staying nice, and still two more. Now on this last one, press out, hold, come halfway in, hold at that halfway point, and then we have little pulses of our carriage, think like three inches out and in for four, three, two, one, all the way out, and then all the way back in. Now, left arch goes on, right knee goes up into our tabletop. We have those six pushes, so we'll inhale away, and exhale, pull, push, and pull for four. Last one, halfway in, hold at that halfway point. We're pulsing the carriage for six. Three, two, one, all the way out, and then all the way back in. All right, now once we come back in, heels are gonna come onto the foot bar. They're parallel with each other. Again, just about six bones distance away. Both heels stay on. We'll inhale, push out with both legs. Exhale in, push, and pull. We'll do three more, two, and then last one. Okay, now once we come in, we'll pause in. My headrest is up, so I'm just gonna move my headrest all the way down. So if you do have your headrest down, put it down. Right heel stays on the foot bar. Left knee goes up into our tabletop position. We're gonna do those six pushes. So we'll push out with our right heel, pull in, push out, and pull in. Three more, two, and then on this last one, we'll hold all the way in, and we're gonna do three bridges on the right leg. So I'm gonna exhale, flatten my low back down into the mat, peel my spine up off the carriage one vertebrae at a time, take an inhale at the top, and then as I roll my spine down, I wanna think evenly weighted throughout the right and the left side of the body. Inhaling at the bottom, exhale, flatten the low back down, peel up, right glute hamstring, take an inhale at the top, and then we're exhaling to articulate our spines all the way back down into the mat. This is the last one on the right side. Take that inhale, and then exhale, roll all the way back down. Now once we come down, we'll set the left heel on, right knee tabletop, we're right back into our neutral spine. We have those six pushes out, and in, out, and in for four, two, and one. All right, now once we come in, we'll pause. On our exhale, we'll flatten the low back down, peel the spine up, use the glute and hamstring, take an inhale, and then exhale as we slowly roll all the way back down. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, flatten and peel. Take that inhale, and then exhale, rolling right back down. I wanna feel my left glute and hamstring really working to bring me up and then evenly weighted throughout the right and the left side as we come down. All right, now once we bring it down, we'll just pause at the bottom. You guys are gonna sit yourselves off to the sides. All right, we're back onto that one blue spring again, one medium spring, everything else is gonna come off. So again, one blue, one medium spring. I'm gonna take my box, I'm gonna put it on 
my reformer, my short box, you guys, right in front of my shoulder blocks. And then when I get my short box on, I'm gonna grab my straps into my hands and I'm gonna sit on my box facing the foot bar. Now, when you guys sit on your box, you can have your feet on the carriage and then you can either use the long loops for your arms, which are gonna be a little lighter, or short loops for your arms, which are gonna be a little heavier. Now, when we sit, I wanna think I'm evenly weighted throughout my right and my left sits bones. Elbows are gonna be bent at the sides. Palms are facing the ceiling. We're gonna exhale, reach our arms out away from us. The hands should be about shoulder, maybe chest height. And then we're gonna inhale, bend to come right back in. Exhale, reach out, shoulder, chest height. Inhale, right back in. Exhale away, and then inhale back. We wanna think as we reach the arms out, the shoulders stay down and the collarbones stay wide. So when we reach, we're not pushing forward with our shoulders, so no protraction. Reach, and then in. Exhale out, inhale back. We'll go for three, two. Now in this last one, we're gonna hold the arms out. We're gonna pause. We're inhaling to open them out to the sides of the room, not going past our bodies bringing the arms together, shoulder distance away with the hands, and then we're bending the elbows to come right back in. So we're exhaling to reach, inhaling to open, exhaling to close, inhale to bend. Exhale, reach, inhale, open, exhale, close, inhale, bend. Keep going. Out, open, close, and bend. We'll do two more. And then last one. Now, when we bend to come right back in, we're gonna push those arms out one more time. We'll hold, rotate your palms towards each other, little bend to your elbows, hug a tree, inhale, open the arms out to the sides, exhale, fingertips together. Inhale, open, and exhale, close. Again, shoulders are down, collarbones are nice and wide. Think, draw your abs in as you exhale. We're gonna go for four. And then last one. All right, we'll relax the arms. I'm gonna hang my straps back up onto the pegs. And then when I get my straps hung up, I'm gonna sit just a little further forward on my box and then feet are gonna go right into the black strap. Now, when you guys sit on your box, make sure that you have at least a palm's width away from you in the back of your box so that your sacrums can roll down. You can have more than that, just no less than that. And then since we are in a blue spring today, if your carriage moves out and in, with our abs, let your carriage move out and in. I'm gonna reach my arms out away from me, and then we're gonna tuck our pelvises just how we started class. We're gonna roll down into our sacrum, so the lowest part of my back is gonna get down. I'm sending my tailbone towards my foot bar. I'm gonna pause for an inhale back here, and then my exhale, I'm gonna start to round through my spine and sit up nice and tall. So on that exhale, we're tucking the pelvis, rolling back down into the sacrum, taking an inhale, and then exhale, scooping into our abdominals to come right back up. We have two more. Exhale, tuck, roll down into the sacrum. Pause for that inhale. Exhale, scoop and come up. And then last one, tuck, roll, take an inhale. And then exhale all the way back up. All right, now we're gonna rotate to the right side of the room. We're gonna stay in this rotation to the right, but we're gonna tuck our pelvis and just roll straight back down to our sacrum. So we're not going down to the right, we're going straight down to the sacrum, pausing, and we're coming right back up and center. Then we'll rotate left, stay in the rotation to the left, and we're gonna tuck and roll straight back down towards our sacrum. We'll pause for an inhale, and then we'll exhale, come right back up and center. Right, tuck, roll, take an inhale, exhale all the way back up and center. Left, Tuck, roll back, take that inhale, and then exhale all the way back up and center. Now, hands are gonna go behind the head, elbows are open out nice and wide to the sides of the room. We're gonna rotate back to the right side of the room. From here, we're gonna tuck, roll back down to our sacrum. We'll pause when we get down. We're gonna come center with our spine, rotate to the left, come all the way up to the left and center. Stay to the right, rotate right. Tuck, roll back. When we get down, we're gonna go center, left come all the way up to the left center two more to the right rotate exhale back inhale center left exhale all the way back up 
and center. Last one to the right. It's an exhale to roll back and inhale to come center, left, exhale all the way back up and center. And then we have four to the left. So rotate, tuck, roll back, inhale, center, right, exhale all the way back up and center. Rotate, tuck, roll back, inhale, center, right, all the way back up and center. We have two more. The idea behind these around the world, you guys, is that the pelvis is staying still. You are rotating from your spine. We should feel our obliques rotating all the way back up and center. Relax. Okay, we're gonna stay on this spring. We're gonna keep our foot bars right where they're at. I'm gonna step off to the left side of my reformer. And then we step off to the left. We're gonna face our box. I'm grabbing my strap that is closest to me off the peg. And then this long loop is going to go onto the arch of my right foot. And I'll just set my foot on the floor. I'm going to stand directly in front of my box. Hands are gonna come onto the box. We'll bring our left knee on the box first. Make sure that you guys have pressure in your hands so your box doesn't fall off. And then you're gonna step your right knee up as well. Now, when we get into this kneeling position, shoulders over your hands, hips right over your knees, neutral spines, and we are going to let the carriage move for every exercise. The idea is that we're stabilizing from our core. So to start, we are going to kick our right leg straight back behind us. The carriage should move. We're bending in. So we're kicking the right leg straight back, lifting it slightly up, bend in. So press a little lift of the leg and bend. I'm trying to get my right leg to stay right in line with my sits bone the entire time when I press kick and then bend. Again, the focus is really on the stability with your core. All right, now the next time we kick this leg back, we're gonna hold it straight back behind us. We're gonna go straight down to the floor, straight back up, try to keep it in line with your body. Straight down, straight up, straight down, straight up. We're gonna dip for three more. Think squeeze your glutes, core really working to stabilize you, especially those obliques. Last one, we hold our leg lifted, wag the tail, we let the leg open to the right, we pull to the left. We open right, we pull across the body to the left, let it open right, pull across the body to the left. We have two more, and then last one. All right, now the leg goes right back in line with the body. We hold it up high. We're gonna bend our knee, bring our heel to our glute, extend the leg. The carrot should stay pretty still for this. Bend the knee, heel the glute, extend. I want that leg lifted. You're just bending at the knee, heel the glute, extend. Three more, heel the glute, extend, heel the glute, extend, last one. And then you guys can relax that leg, okay. I'm gonna step off with my left foot. <coughs> my right foot's gonna come down and then we'll hang that strap up. We're walking around to the other side. Okay, now grab the strap. Long loop goes onto the arch of your left foot. And then we're gonna take our hands onto the box. We'll step up with the right knee. We'll step up with the left knee. My shoulders over my hands, my hips are right over my knees. Again, my carriage is going to move for every exercise except the last. So I'm gonna exhale, kick my left leg back and slightly up, bend in. I'm ideally trying to get my leg to stay right in line with my left sits bones. Exhale, press a little lift, inhale, bend. Exhale, out, inhale, back, out, and in, we have three. Again, we should really feel the obliques working to stabilize us. Last one, we hold the leg back here. Now we go straight down to the floor, straight back up. Straight down, straight up. We dip, we exhale, lift. Two more. Last one, now we hold this lift. We wag the tail, we bring it left, across the body, right. Left, right, feel those obliques. Left, 
right inhale exhale give me three more of that wagging the tail two all right last one right then come center now keep that leg lifted ready heel the glute extend heel the glute extend carriage should stay pretty still give me three more heel the glute try to keep that leg lifted two one relax okay we'll step off with our right we'll step off with our left we'll hang that trap up we are not changing our springs so now i'm going to come kneeling on my reformer facing my box my forms are going to go down into the box and then i'm going to go toes balls of my feet right onto the outside frame of my carriage we're going to do some forearm planks with squats so my forearms are down i'm going to press my carriage out with my legs right into a plank and then we're going to inhale bend our knees for a squat exhale stretch legs bend exhale stretch try to touch the box with your knees if you can inhale and exhale we'll go for three and press two and then last one bend and stretch now bend the knees come down onto the knees feel free to give yourselves a little break and then we are going to go ahead and do some single leg squats now if these do not work for you they're very challenging you guys can just go back into both leg squatting rather than one leg squatting but if you want to challenge yourselves even more follow me with single leg squats forearms are down toes are on we're going to push out one time with both legs we'll hold now my right foot is going to stay on my left leg extends out i'm going to bend my right knee stretch bend stretch again if this doesn't work for you guys bring both feet right back down one more on the right leg and then when i press out my left foot goes on my right leg extends ready bend exhale stretch inhale exhale out three more try to touch the box right leg should stay long the entire time last one and then when i come right back out set the foot down bend and come in okay we'll sit off to the sides we're gonna switch to a long box same spring our springs do not change long box is on we'll kneel on our box we'll face the straps and then when we kneel we're going to grab the right strap and then i always hold right where my loop connects to my rope i'm going to pull in and the long loop is going to go onto the arch of my right foot now when i get it there shoulders are going to be over my hands hips are right over my knees we're stabilizing from our shoulders and our core and we're going to exhale and kick our right leg back and slightly up and then bend to come right back in press a little lift of the leg and then inhale bend exhale and then inhale again stabilizing from my shoulders my core and getting my glute max and hamstring to fire here out and in let's do three more two all right now on this last one we have to hold our leg back behind us we're going to dip our toes straight down to the springs straight back up straight down to the strings straight back up so it's straight down straight up feel that glute max firing to lift that leg give me three more down and up for two okay last one hold the leg up flex the foot keep it in line with the body we have little circles of the leg do not let your leg drop down you're circling from that hip for four they should hurt last one bend and come down all right let's take that strap off of your foot i'm feeling it okay so we'll hang that right strap up we'll grab the left loop again i think it's easiest you guys if you grab where the strap connects to your rope pull in long loop goes to the arch of your left foot and then i'm going to set up shoulders over hands hips right over knees stabilizing from shoulders and core we're going to exhale kick that left leg back and slightly up inhale right back in these are my absolute 
favorite glute exercises on the reformer. Exhale, press little lift and inhale back. Again, we want our glute max, which is right where that glute connects your hamstring and then hamstring engage the entire time. Two more, out and in. Now when we kick back on this one, you guys have to hold. We go straight down to the springs, straight back up. Straight down, straight up, straight down and up. Again, I want that glute max really firing on that lift. Three more, two. Okay, now on this last one, you guys have to hold your leg up. It needs to stay up, flex your foot. My leg is in line with my body. I'm gonna do little circles of this leg around. Do not let your leg wander down towards the floor. It stays lifted. Four, three, two, they should burn. One, relax. Okay, hang that strap up onto the peg. You guys have one more thing before we finish off with some feet and straps. So box stays, spring stay. We're sitting on our box again, facing the straps. And then I'm gonna grab my right strap. It's gonna go around my leg above my knee. So my long loop is gonna go all the way around my right leg above my knee. I'm gonna make sure I have plenty of space behind me for my spine to roll down. And then we're gonna lie down onto the box. Okay, when we get down, hands are gonna go behind the head. Our feet are gonna stay down onto our headrest to start. And then we're gonna begin in our neutral spine and we're gonna curl just right up into a normal ab curl from our bra line. Again, I'm holding my neutral. Now on my exhale, I'll lift my right knee up into my tabletop position, adjust the strap if you guys need to, dip the toes down. Exhale, lift the knee, inhale, dip, lift and dip. Exhale up, inhale down. I want you to feel those right obliques firing. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Now on this next one, we're gonna hold that lift. We're gonna inhale, reach the leg out. Exhale, pull in. Inhale out, exhale in. We should feel our quad, our hip flexor engaged, but really think, use your right obliques to pull in. Last one. Now on this one, I want you guys to pause in. We're gonna add a rotation of our spine. So we're reaching our right leg straight out, but when we pull in, we're gonna rotate left elbow to our right knee, come center, extend. Pull, rotate, left elbow, right knee, center, extend. Four more, get that rotation from the spine. Three. And then last one. All right, relax that foot, let your head go back. My strap fell off my leg. We're gonna come up and then you guys can take that strap off. Okay, other side. Last thing you guys before we finish off with some feet and straps. So let's go ahead, grab the long loop. It goes all the way around your left leg above your knee. We're gonna lie down onto that box. My feet are gonna stay on my head rest to start. Hands behind the head, neutral spine, and I'm curling up into my ab curl. Now my right foot stays down. Elbows are wide, exhale, left leg lifts, inhale, dip, lift, and dip. So again, quad, hip flexor automatically firing. Think engage your left obliques to lift and lower. Two more, lift, lower, last one. Hold it up, ready, inhale, leg out. Exhale in, our spine Stay center for the next four. Three, two, we're gonna add in that rotation. So ready, pull in, rotate, right elbow, left knee, center, extend. Pull, rotate, center, extend. Pull, rotate, extend. We have three, rotate from that spine, two, last one. Whew, relax that foot down. You're gonna sit up. All right, when we come up, take that strap off of your leg, you guys can hang it up, and then you can just sit off to the side. Okay, take those boxes off, set them to the sides. Last thing will be feet and straps. So I'm gonna go two red springs for me, which are my two heavy springs, and then I'll go ahead, take off my medium, and then we'll lie down. So two heavies, lie down, headrest can be up or down, 
that is up to you guys. And then I'm gonna grab my long loops. They're gonna go onto my feet one foot at a time. And then I'm gonna start with my legs straight up to the ceiling. I'm gonna let my low back go flat. I'm just gonna give my ropes a little tug just to stretch quick. Just take a few deep inhales through the nose, exhale through the mouth. All right, now legs are gonna go up just as high as we can hold our neutral spines. Feet are parallel, legs are zipped together. We're gonna to exhale, lower the legs straight down towards our springs. Inhale, hinge, and come right back up. Exhale to lower, and then inhale, hinge. Sacrum just stays nice and heavy. Exhale down, inhale, hinge. Lower, and lift. We'll do three more two and then last one down and up now from here i'm going to lower my legs right back down we're just going to open them wide out to the sides we'll circle around and back up for some leg circles down circle around and up we'll do two more in this direction as always you guys i want to think i'm keeping my neutral spine so my sacrum stays heavy my pelvis stays still when we come up we'll reverse the circles Two more, and then last one. All right, now when we come up, we'll pause, give those ropes one little tug, and then take the straps off your feet. All right, last stretch. Hang the straps up. We're all gonna sit to the left side of our reformers, and then when we sit to the left, we're gonna take off our right red spring. Our left red one is going to stay on. I'm gonna step my right foot back to the shoulder block closest to me. My left foot stays on the floor. Both hands are on our foot bar. We're gonna press back with our right knee, press back with our left, and then we're gonna take both hands to the very left side of our foot bar. I'm gonna push my right hip down and think about finding as much length in the right side of the body as you possibly can. And then we'll bring that carriage in. We'll change those springs so my right red one is on, my left red one is off. We'll switch to the other side, left foot back, right foot on the floor. We'll press back with the left leg. We'll press back with the right. We'll pause, take both hands to the right side of your foot bar, and then I'm gonna push my left hip down and find as much length in that left side of my body as I can. All right, then bring your carriages all the way back in. You guys are all finished today. I hope you liked the workout. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys. See you next time.